Among the many brain teasers in current science are these. Question number one. If matter and antimatter are created simultaneously in equal amounts, why is there so much matter in this universe and so little antimatter? And question number two, what the heck is dark energy? Nobel Prize winning research on type 1a supernovas has shown that roughly six billion years ago, the galaxies did more than their average rush apart. They began to speed up. They accelerated it. They cannonballed away from each other with increasing haste. Acceleration takes energy. So where did the mystery energy jackrabbiting galaxies and stars apart come from? One possible answer, the Bloom toroidal model of the universe, otherwise known as the Big Bagel. Imagine a bagel with one of those anally retentive, infinitesimally tiny holes. Your bagel is an Einsteinian manifold, a sheet of time, space, and gravity. It's 13.72 billion years ago. An explosion spurts abruptly from the bagel's hole. Rocketing up the bagel's topside is a big bang of matter. But gushing from the hole on the bottom is an equal and opposite, a big bang of antimatter. That's where all the antimatter goes. In Einsteinian manifolds, the shape of space tells matter how to move. A steep slope says move fast, very fast, rush, race, speed. The slopes that funnel upward and downward from the bagel's hole are steep. That steep curve tells the matter and antimatter universes to race upward or downward and outward at unbelievable speed, the speed known in physics and cosmology as inflation. But the traveling orders that space gives to matter change as the two universes approach the flatness of the bagel's upper and under hump. The leveling horizontal curve of space dictates a more leisurely pace. Like a cannonball reaching the high point of its curve, the universe and antimatter universe begin to run out of the energy that has shot them apart from each other, which leads to the second physics question of the day. What is dark energy? The two universes reach the bagel's high and low point at the 7.7 .7 billion year mark. Then the downward slope of the bagel tells them to speed up again. Now why do they accelerate? Where does the extra energy that rushes galaxies apart from each other come from? In other words, what is dark energy? The answer is gravity. As it slips down the bagel's outer slope, the normal universe falls under the seductive sway of the antimatter universe's gravity and speeds up. And the antimatter universe is caught by the come-hither power of the matter universe's gravity and it too speeds up. How will the universe end? At the bagel's outer edge the two equal but opposite universes meet and do what matter and antimatter always do. They annihilate. But here's the trick. They annihilate in a burst of energy and the bagel's outer rim is also its center. So the explosion of annihilation is, guess what, the next Big Bang. That's it, the Big Bagel. For more, see The God Problem, How a Godless Cosmos Creates, by Howard Bloom, yes that's me, a book that Harvard Nobel Prize winner Dudley Hirschback calls truly awesome and terrific. <laughs>